This is the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Feels like a Saturday night already. I know this. Yeah, Brian's probably in a mud van. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, yeah. It's like, I've definitely heard this before. Dig was like the first big song and video they had, and, you know, they broke out of Peoria. Would you rather Brian do funny, dirty, sexy vows or uh, sing the vows like a <laughs> metal guy? At least metal this is vows. like not offensive. I mean, it's offensive to my ears, but it's who Brian is as a person. Yeah. If he like, you know what I mean? Like, that's representative. Yeah. Maybe that guy that was representative of who he is, but. I really think it was representative. Ugh. We got the pound cake sports break here a few minutes away. Will you hear Mudvayne on Saturday night? I don't know yet. I'm just locking down the playlist. I'm putting everything in where it's going to be. Saturday night, our brand new metal show is called Two Hours to Midnight. It is every Saturday night at 10 o'clock. You can find our past playlists at WMMS.com or on the Two Hours to Midnight Facebook page. Uh, this Saturday night, there's going to be, what am I going to play? I'm play Crowbar. going to play uh, Heathen. Uh, local music from Dreamwalker. And A Sense of Purpose. I think two bands are going to be playing together very soon and then your requests too so it's me Corey Roddick Pat Butler week to week all throwing in stuff we want to hear and play for you and then your suggestions a lot of local bands hit me up feel free to do that Uh, just send me something I can air something clean you know a lot of expletives in metal as there should be but you got to send me something clean Uh, 2htm at wmms.com is a way to hit me up with something so it was Saturday night, uh, 10 to midnight here on MMS. Looking forward to it. I think this will be our fourth show. Uh, Guardians baseball starts tomorrow, Major League opening day. The first four games they'll play in Seattle against the Mariners. West Coast, so it's late, 10-10 is the first pitch here on MMS. And then Friday the 7th, they will come home for the home opener, and the Mariners will come to Cleveland. They'll be positively sick of each other by that time. Well, uh, we played the dirty wedding vows in the last segment, and I sent them to my girlfriend during the commercial break, and uh, she's very much on Mary's side. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mary sent me the girls' vows. Mm-hmm. And as you might expect, the guys' vows got 18 million views on TikTok. Hers got about 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> to set this up again before we do the sports break, let me play the guys' vows for you again, and then I'll play hers. Spoiler alert, they couldn't be more different. <laughs> I told Mary in the break, you're going to be white hot with rage when you hear her. The guy's wedding vows first. Only two things are required to keep me happy. Keep my belly full and my balls empty. Oh my <laughs> so you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> Even when my belly isn't full, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime. Unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. Since the beginning, I was always told... Life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. (laughs) Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like Mary and me, you can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. (laughs) Right, and his mom is officiating. Now, the burning, the million dollar question is, who did their vows first? Yes. Because they couldn't be more different. And I would love for his to have gone first. I want his to have gone second. So he's just standing there. See, that's why I want his to have gone second, because when she's delivering hers, he can feel like the piece of crap that he is. Again, you know who you're in marrying. My, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying the guy's a piece of crap. You know who you're marrying. These two have clearly been together for a while. If you're a girl, well, play the girl's vows. His play vows, the girl's vows. His vows were under a minute. They were 50 seconds. Hers is creeping up on two minutes long. My knight in shining armor, my best friend, my biggest pain in the ass. Our adventure started a little shy of 10 years ago, and in that 10 years, we have already accomplished so much together and created a beautiful life. 
When I met you in school, I started crushing on you, but I didn't dare let it be known because I thought you were too good for me. So I let it go. If they say if you truly love someone or something, let it go. And if it comes back... Okay, so this is a woman who has been deeply insecure for a long... <laughs> really? Clearly. We all know people like this, right? I'm not good enough for you where she's... This guy basically has dared her to stay with him. Yeah. Dared her? She yes. Was, it seems like... He, I bet she, like, exactly what Alan said. She's, like, always walking on eggshells, trying to keep him happy, trying to do whatever she can. Because belly full balls empty. Back to you than it was meant to be. Now here you are standing in front of me on our wedding day. I'm more than thankful for every day with you. Ugh. You have completely stolen my heart, and I honestly never want you to give it back. She's about to cry. You are one of the most <laughs> selfless. Too. She's emotional. Look at her mom. Most like, yeah, caring mom. people yes. I have ever met, not to mention very accident prone. <laughs> We've created two, two of the most beautiful girls in this world together. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to pull out. Mm -hmm. Too many Twinkies, Bill. Not yeah. enough toaster strudels. <laughs> right. Together, we bought our first house. We've made it through the rough times and the good times. And since I have you, I know we will always make it through. Thank you for choosing me to create your life with. I know I'm no model, by far not a good cook, oh, unless you want God. soggy meatloaf. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Jeez. I know I'm no She's model. This is insecure. not a guy who has made her feel fantastic That's, throughout the course of it. How could he? Did you hear his vows? Yeah. I wish I, you were Margot Robbie. I guess I'll stay with you forever. Dude, I'm so mad. Yeah. I'm so it, mad right now. Well, we all know couples like this, don't we? Yes. You were almost one of those couples. This is what my wedding vows would have been. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for never leaving me. I'm sorry I'm fat and an alcoholic. We all know I'm the real sleeping beauty it. with a temper. But thank you for loving me still the way you do. You are literally making the fairy tale I always dreamed of come true. Well, maybe a little more funnier than I imagined. But it's still way more than I could ever ask for. I will forever want you rocking beside me. When we're old, talking about our day, making jokes, recalling memories. If you could leave out the passing gas, though, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I love you so guy. much, Michael John Lentini, and I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life and beyond that. By the way, this is Florida where this is happening. Florida sucks. I'm surprised they're not in camo. By the way, I hope that we didn't all miss the fact that they have two girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how he wants to be remembered. What I'm saying is they're probably at the wedding listening to their father talk like that to their mom. Setting up future generations that these are girls are like, oh, I guess this is how you should be treated by men. But we all know girls like this but who that's are not like okay. desperate. No, no, absolutely Especially not. if you have children. They're going to look at how you guys treat each other and then base their relationships it's off of it. terribly sad because you're like... This this is a girl who is painfully insecure the whole length of their relationship, and um, she's like, "Thank you so much." We have to, you know. I know I'm not a model, and I know I can't cook, but I can throw God. this, you know, I can throw this. <laughs> but back I got on that. Look, look, three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so mad. Oh, she's gonna be gagging, all right. Just not gonna be on him. It makes She's me like, you're sad. naked again? Well, it makes me really sad for After her. hearing her vows, it makes me sad. It makes me sad that she feels that, like, she's not good enough for this guy and is going to marry him, and he thinks it's hilarious. It bums me out for their daughters. 100%. Because they're going to end <sighs> oh. up in relationships like either exactly like this guy, or they'll be, like, pushing off men. Oh, God. But we could all be wrong. They could be in love. That, that could be just, oh, that's just You him. heard the vow. Yeah, okay, but like, you don't know their relationship. You can't base their relationship it's off of their a TikTok. Wedding. <laughs> off of their TikTok. You though. can't. No, you cannot. But you can. Oh you can figure so can out a lot. Wildly. Yes, that is some very specific information. We're not. This is not something being taken out of context. This is the biggest day of their life. His vows. Her vows. This is one of those situations where people are together for like a decade and have a couple of kids and buy a house. They get married and they're divorced in eighteen months. Dude. Because she's like, wow, I didn't think it could get worse. Because something does switch in your brain when you get married. Well, how His long is ago was this wedding? Thing. You're my say, wife now. Does it say how long they've been married? Because this this could have happened a while ago. <clears throat> could have happened yesterday. We, we don't know. Have, we, yeah, we need an update. Let's mm. see. Hold on. And Let's also, see when it was posted. There's people that post uh, really sweet vows all the time, too. This was posted they, one week ago. And they get, uh, but that doesn't mean it was. 
that's yeah, when it the takes wedding a while to, right. to edit those videos. Yeah. So it's one of those things where people can give really sweet. They seem like the perfect couple, and they still split up after a year and a half. Like just a lot of people get divorced. Alan, I wonder what they asked for in their gift registry: oh. a zucchini and an ice pack. Hold on, hold oh, on. Oh boy, all my friends that I've How do I... been to their wedding, they get gifts like that from me. Yeah, well, you, from you, you but I mean, sex toys, yeah. right? Like they, that's not that's your thing. That's on brand. That is my thing. Alan, I'm sending you another one. I have not heard okay. again. I got to get to the sports well, break. Well, here. This is her <laughs> on her TikTok explaining the vows. It's her talking to the camera, saying. Hey, her vows aren't the one that need no, no, to be explained. No, no, like explaining the vows. Like oh, I see. Explaining the vows, because in in the caption, even I just sent it. It says, "Sorry about the wedding vows that have gone viral," and then it says, "Sorry, not sorry." So she's into it. And that was six days ago. So her I don't know. Told her that. I'm assuming well, that her. You also don't have to be into it to go. Hey, listen, I'm going to defend my dude here. Hater hashtag haters will be haters. Right. Come on now. Alan, I got lucky. My wife had an aneurysm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe my that's goodness. the guy who texted they had to get Viagra to bang his ugly wife before. Uh, you know what a good pen, a palate cleanser <laughs> will be? Pound Cake, are you ready for your sports break? Uh, your I guess time so. to shine? After that, yeah. Try following that. Play ball! This is a Pound Cake Sports Break. In the headlines today, it sucks when your line of work affects other people's livelihoods, and that's exactly what it's like to be a professional athlete. Washington Wizards player Bradley Bill is under investigation because of his so-called fans. Bill got into a skirmish with a few individuals leaving the Wizards locker room, and one of the individuals shouted, You effed me out of $1,300, you effer, and that was a wrap. Bill lost his temper, and I don't blame him. Police are investigating the NBA player for swatting the cap off the dude's head. <laughs> the league and Bill are cooperating with law enforcement for possible battery charges, but battery charges for swatting a cap? Brad, if you're going to catch a charge anyways, might as well make it worth it and bust a cap in that ass. No need to thank me. I'm here to help. Also, I'm all for calling people what they want to be called, and apparently so does the NFL. Players are now allowed to wear the number zero on their jerseys. The league going forward is now allowing everyone except offensive linemen and defensive linemen to choose the digit. I really don't understand what the big fuss is about. Are jerseys like vanity plates? Can you change them for a laugh? Are they afraid players are going to run down the field in sequence and spell out inappropriate words like we did in middle school, like on the calculators? Well, congrats, guys. You can now spell boobs like... <laughs> You can now spell boobs live during a broadcast. <laughs> y'all thought y'all was slick. I'm on to you. Uh, <laughs> and lastly, Ben Affleck. Why are we talking about Ben Affleck? Well, he's promoting his new movie, Air, about Nike pursuing Michael Jordan, where Ben stars and directs. Well, Ben is doing press for the new movie on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. He noted that he has a very unhappy appearance. You guys may remember all the memes he was posted outside of his house, smoking a cigarette, looking, you know, lit. Well, he Ben chalks that up to having a resting Ben face. He swears he's happy, and why wouldn't he be? Him and Jennifer are still going strong, buying million-dollar houses, and I'm sure she enjoys resting on Ben's face. And that, ladies and gentlemen, can <laughs> this pound, this pound kick sports spray. Play ball! Uh, this is a pound cake sports break! Boy, those two crazy kids have a May, don't they? Affleck and J-Lo. They're doing it. Now they do. Because they seem very different. They seem like very different people. Opposites attract. Well, opposites attract. They don't always stay together. Those two came back to each other after hey. like a decade and a half. Like that yeah. bride it's said. A beautiful if you, thing. If you love something, let it go. You know, people are texting me that you those aren't his full vows. You got to fight. I don't care what the rest of his yeah. vows were. Those were in his vows. Yeah, you could tell there's First of all, the way this there. guy talks, that's yeah. the only interesting part of his vows. If the rest of it is just him being sappy, mm -hmm. great, but I don't care. The gross stuff is just part of it. That was in the vows. It's a part of it. The fact that she, he but she mentions... Didn't, but she didn't have a gross section. Like, there was no volley on her part. No. He she's... had a gross part, and then she went, I love you so much, and blah, 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 you know. The fact that he was like... If I meet Margot Robbie, I'm going to leave you. And she was like, <laughs> I'm no model. I'm paraphrasing, of course. He, but, you know. he makes no effort to make her feel loved. What if Margot Robbie sees that and she's like, I love this guy. That's my guy? 
That would be. She deserves him. That'd be an amazing way for this story. She'd to have end. to divorce her husband, meet this yeah. guy in Florida. <laughs> mm-hmm. My Honey, goodness. I'm leaving you for the viral TikTok guy. Yeah. Well, stranger things than that have happened. Hmm. It's very upset. Well, don't be so upset. It's it makes okay. me sad for her. It's okay. We don't even know her. Listen, I don't have to know people to be sad for them. Oh, come on. It's called empathy. Try it. Oh, thank you. Well, what if she's happy? No, thank you. She's lying to herself. No, we don't know. (laughs) No one who's happy says, I'm sorry I'm not a model and I can't cook in their wedding vows. Well, but those are two objective comments. Those aren't opinions. She is not a model and she can't cook. She copped to her soggy meatloaf. Now, maybe that was her gross part of the vows. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Maybe that was her. It's more disgusting than anything he said. (laughs) Thank you for always wanting to eat my soggy meatloaf. Everybody's like, "Uh, uh." onions and celery? Corn. Alan, why was Ben Affleck featured in the sports break? Because he's playing uh, Phil Knight in in, in the Nike movie. The movie called Air. Matt Damon, Jason Bateman, Viola Davis. Playing Michael Jordan's uh, mother. By the way, congratulations. Guess who had a Bahad Berhirth Day this past weekend? <laughs> Selena Gomez. No, Bahad oh. Bahabi, oh. Daniel Bregoli, the Cash Me Outside girl. She turned 20. She has been famous and rich now for seven years. Remember, she was on the Dr. Phil show, and that's how she got famous. She's the Cash Me Outside girl. But she has since made millions from her music, from her OnlyFans, she bought her mom a house, by all accounts. Of course, it came out after the Dr. Phil thing that she and her mom had set the whole thing up. But she still got famous, still got rich, gave her mom some money. Is your two streetwise? Yup. And all these hoes laughing like so funny. The, the hoes are laughing? Yep. So the audience are a bunch of hoes? Yep. <laughs> Huh? Catch me outside. How about that? Mm-hmm. So happy birthday to Bahad Bahabi. It seems like just seven years ago we were getting to know you at the ripe young age of 13. I got a quick story about an inappropriate. It's a, at a funeral, though, not a, well, a celebration of life. Uh-huh. A homegoing yes. ceremony. So on Saturday, went to my girlfriend's grandpa's celebration of life ceremony and you know the family all gets up there and speaks and they open the floor for other people to come up and and speak if they want and this lady gets up there and she's talking about he's she's probably 20 25 years younger than this guy but she's talking about him in a very specific way Mm -hmm. like she's like he was older but he could do things a little too familiar half his age couldn't do and he would you know bring me gifts and he'd always give me rides uh when i came into town one time i was coming into town and there was uh, i couldn't fly because i had a concussion so i had to take a train and he's like i'll come pick you up and she's like no don't come pick me up she has sugar baby and like we're and well like i look over at my girlfriend and i'm like i think this lady banged your grandpa and she's <laughs> yeah. like i think the same thing right. and like then her brother is like hey i think this she made grandpa. Like grandpa, they're like yeah. we all had the same kind of realization. And she goes, and so he's like, he's gonna uh come and pick me up. And I'm like, don't come. And he's like, No, I'm coming, I'm coming. And those two, my girlfriend and her brother, start losing it. Oh god. They're just like they, you know, there's a lot of emotion, so things like that become heightened. Yes. And they're giggling like idiots. And then she's like, and he said, I already did a dry run. And at that point, her brother snorted oh god and then they like people <laughs> shot them a look and one lady was like why are you laughing and suppressed laughter yeah, is it was, the worst thing. and so i'm like staring off into space just like i i don't know any of these people that well i can't be a uh, part of this but it is hilarious and then after the- they're like Psst, what does her bfbe sweatshirt mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah it was it was a very uncomfortable mo- and my girlfriend still she's like i can't stop thinking about her can't stop thinking about this lady. this lady <laughs> yeah yeah giving this uh weird speech and how old was she she was so he was in his 90s yeah. she's probably in her 
mid 60s so not an 60s. anna nicole smith type no, situation. no she's at 25 no. yeah <laughs> i don't know but they just had uh a very interesting friendship because oh. i think he she did say like he asked her out on dates or they went out on dates and stuff like that but like nobody really knew who this lady was yeah. she just came <clears throat> for the funeral and uh it was just one of those things where she would take these moments and like take like a deep breath and just like kind of Reminisce and like have like, a oh, smirk on her face. Oh, thinking no. about <laughs> you <know>, weirdo. <laughs> that was funny though. Yeah, and so that was uh, you know one of those moments. Not nearly as egregious as this guy's vows, but uh, the laughter was uh, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I have just added soggy meatloaf to the playlist for two hours to midnight this nice. Saturday night. We do the Agora this fall. Uh, let me take a break here. If you want to send a text, 35192. Uh, if you want to watch, the pictures will come.